judgment was entered yesterday. And in the judgment, a very, very comprehensive judgment because this forms precedences of other cases that will be before them. Our key thing, our major player, our main player was to get the this letter of 13 that was giving legal authority, recognizing officials from Nakuru by the ORPP. This is the letter we charged in court. And we wanted it nullified by the business, what are they called? Political, Political parties, parties dispute tribunal. tribunal, not business. I worked in the business tribunal for a long time. Yesterday, the judgment was entered. And the, you will get a copy of it, you will go through it, and you will see, when you go to page 39, I think, is it 39? No. You go to page 22, it's 22, on this is 39, on other uh, fonts. What we wanted was this letter declared null and void because it is on this letter, on this authority of the Office of the uh, Register of Political Parties, that other that those coup protests were relying on. It is the one that was giving their actions the force of law. And this is what they said in that judgment. Taking into consideration the totality of the foregoing circumstances, we order as follows. A declaration B and is hereby issued that the respondent's letter, that is the respondent was the ORPP, because we were to quote my breaker Cotini, dated 13th February 2013, is null and void and of no consequential effect. I want to read it again. A declaration B and is hereby issued that the respondent's letter dated 13th this of February 2023 is null and void and of no consequential effect. Ikisugu imeweko hapa ata watu ya CBC wanaelewa. It does not need a legal person to understand what it means. So ulikuwa umekaria hii na imeondolewa. Siwe uko kwa hewa? Yes. Bas, sasa watebele hewa kwa sababu all the other issues that are contained there are issues that have no effect on this final thing. Now, if you want to know who are the official members, who are the officials of Jubilee Party, as per the 26th of February 2022 NDC, you can go to the Registrar of Political Parties. And again, you will find that the same names that were there from 26th of February 2022 are the names that are there. The party is intact. I want to call, tell the members of Jubilee, the followers across this country, that the party is fully functional. If you have an issue with any of us, there is a procedure you should follow. If you think you want to remove the SG, get the party leader to convene a neck. then a decision will be made that will then be taken to the NDC. But you cannot call the deputy of a secretary general to convene a NEC and to discuss the secretary general. If we want to remove the party leader, the secretary general will call the NEC to discuss the conduct of the party leader. Secretary. If a, secretary, a deputy secretary general can convene NEC and discuss officials of the party without informing the party leader, without informing the secretary general, without informing even those other officials you want discussed, even before you talk of the rules of natural justice, the question I want to ask you is this. Can he convene a cabinet meeting today to discuss Ruto? or to even discuss policy matters in this country. If we allow that absurdity to happen, then the stability of all institutions will come uh, into question. A deputy cannot purport to act when the substantive holder of the office is alive and capable of calling out his or her Money. duties. It's not just for Jubilee, but it's for all institutions that want to function 
as guided by the Mugozo uh, principles. Having said that also, let me also tell you something else. If you want to have an official presser of the party, it is held in the party offices, yes. which are these ones, at the party headquarters. Not in a hotel or a hideout, because like the one of yesterday was actually a hideout. It was a hideout. I am told uh, it was nyinyi wenyewe gino mulienda mtatuambia pali mulienda na mulipitia barabara gani ndio tujue. The convening of that meeting had been done. This is the other thing. They had called that place a day earlier. Do they want to tell us that they had uh, a discussion with the tribunal and they had uh, an intended there was a known outcome that they wanted to celebrate or was it a scheme from the beginning of how they were going to uh, spin the decision?